Hey guys, today we have a Synology uh, DS918 Plus and we're going to be taking it a, apart a little bit on the bottom. We're going to take a M2 uh, NVMe drive and we're going to add it to the bottom so we can do some write caching. And I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in this video. So first thing you're going to want to power it down. Uh, turn it upside down and we're going to take these two uh, If you got two NVMEs, that's great. Then you can do read and write caching uh, But we only have one so we're going to just do uh, Read caching uh, which will still speed up the performance of the Synology a little bit So let's go ahead and get our NVME and get that installed. It's very easy All right, so we got our drive We're going to just pry that open and as you can see we have our spot where we can get our drive. So we got our drive here, take it out of the box, and you're gonna slide it in just like how you would do it normally with any other computer. Make sure it's snug, push it down, pull that down, and you got your drive installed. And then we can, that's that easy, and then you can put the cover right back on, and it's gonna power this back on, and now I'll show you how to configure it. Okay, so once you put your M.2 drives in, Go ahead and obviously power it back on, plug in all the cables. Once you got it online, log in, go to your main menu, click on Storage Manager. Then once it populates, go to SSD Cache, go Create, and we're going to be doing read only because we only have uh, one of those M.2 drives in it. So go ahead and hit Next. Select the drive. Now you see I have two drives because I have a second one in there, but Ignore that, I added a second drive later on, but just select that one drive that we put in, hit next, uh, hit the max, which is the 238, um, hit apply. Do I understand, because it's gonna wipe that drive now. Hit okay. So it's mounting and formatting that, that SSD cache, and soon you're gonna, once this gets done, you're gonna have uh, read caching on your Synology. All right, once it gets done through the waiting process, you can see now it is normal. Hit the arrow, and you can already see cache is hitting uh, that drive. Um, and everything's set for normal, RAID 0. Um, yeah, so RAID 1 would be two of these drives, and then you could do the read and write caching, but right now we just have the uh, read caching, so. Uh, this will definitely help for uh, going to your you know, shared drives or, or anything like that, um, that you're accessing files, opening up files that are already there. This is not going to help uh, writing stuff to the Synology. That's when you want to create a um, read and write cache. So when you uh, drop files or read files from your Synology, um, it'll go that much faster. Um, so yeah, that's all.